What's up guys? Happy New Year. Happy 2021. We haven't seen each other in a while and today I wanted to come to you with a new video. Today we are going to make a pizza that does not require one of these. So today um, in our local area we have a pizza place that um, is called Marco's if you've ever been there um, and they do a crustless pizza. So today I'm going to make one at home and it's really simple, no dough involved, no flour, no almond flour, no coconut flour, none of that, none of that is involved. All it is is pizza toppings. So I'm going to show you how to make it and it is very fun and very tasty and I hope you guys like it. And also, I want to say we are now a full year of keto, yay! Can I get a round of applause, round of applause? If you haven't made a, a whole year yet, it's okay, you'll get there. We have some struggles in our time. So, anywho, that's all in another video, but right now I'm gonna show you how to make a crustless pizza. Let's go. So, first thing, of course, you need your ingredients. And I have green peppers, onions, and mushrooms. And here is pre-cooked uh, Italian sausage, pepperoni, mozzarella cheese, and sauce. I always make my own sauce, so if you guys want a video of me making my sauce, then let me know. I'll upload a video of me and my sauce. Now we're currently in a resort. Um, so we don't have all the fancy dishes that everybody may have. That's why I use paper plates. But anywho, this will get you right. This pan. You can use a cake pan, um, cake pan, but you, <laughs> you can use that or any type of dish. The reason why I'm doing it this way is because again, we're in the resort, I'm not gonna go out and buy no special utensils to do this. So I'm gonna make this with foil as my base and I'm gonna make two. And the reason why I'm doing this is because I don't like all the toppings on my pizza that Jeff does. So pretty much I'm making my own pizza mold. You can also go to Dollar Tree and pick up a pound cake pan if you wanted to do it that way. So, this is what it would look like. See, two spots. Or you can go to the Dollar Tree and just get the foil pans and buy multiple ones. But it's late here, so you know Dollar Tree's open where I am. So this will do. Okay, voila, easy peasy, then it's squeezy. All right, so what I'm going to do, of course, how do you start a pizza with the sauce, of course. So, I'm gonna drip some sauce in the bottom of this. And because the sauce um, already has oils and stuff, uh, oil in it, it's, it's not gonna stick. So, you don't have to worry about that part. And so, you just smooth it out. Smooth it on out, smooth it on out, smooth it on, smooth it on, smooth it on out. Like so. And my pizza sauce and my spaghetti sauce is slightly different the way I make it, only because I, I add red pepper flakes in the pizza portion. So if you're just gonna, if you want the sauce, um, if you want me to make this sauce and upload a video on how I make it, then I can make show you how to make the pizza sauce, or I can show you how to just make the spaghetti sauce. Pretty much the same thing. One just has red pepper flakes in it, and the other one doesn't. But this sauce is so good, I'm gonna use it all. My type of pizza, tell me what type of pizza you guys like, or what it, as far as toppings anyways. My favorite toppings is green peppers and lots of cheese. All right, so that's that. So then what I'm gonna do is, instead of putting the cheese on it first, or first whatever, I'm gonna add some of the toppings just so it'll get like a little layer to it. So first I'm gonna start with a little bit of the sausage. I do like sausage on my pizza. 
And I'm gonna put some sausage on his. And I'm not gonna use all of this, it's a lot of sausage. All right, so that's just some. I'm gonna put some of the green peppers up here, not a lot, cause I still want it to look pretty with the toppings and stuff, so. And he likes onions on his side, so I'm gonna give him some onions. And he likes mushrooms on his side, so I'm gonna give him a teeny bit of mushrooms. Okay, now, let's go for the cheese. Ooh. And I'm a cheese head, so I like a lot of cheese on my pizza. Oh, don't jip him on his cheese. Oh, this is gonna be so good. All right, cheese. Now we're going for the more for more toppings. So we'll put some pepperonis up here. Okay, and this is what you end up with. Now, we're gonna pop this in the oven at 375 for about 10 to 12 minutes or until you see the cheese is all melted because this doesn't need to be cooked a lot because like I said, we pre-cooked the sausage. Um, so pretty much all we want to do is just melt everything to make it look yummy. And the sauce is pretty warm too because I all, I'm, I have to cook it on the stove in order for me to get the flavor and the taste that I like. So the sauce is not hot but it is lukewarm um, and then your sausage is pre-cooked. So pop it in the oven for about 15 to 12 minutes on 375. And just wait. And that's it. Okay, so it's been about 12 minutes, 11 or 12 minutes. Now for just pizza, I did sprinkle a little bit more cheese on the top of it, just a little bit. Um, you can, you don't have to, it's, just up, it's up to you. I did, but we're getting ready to take this baby out. Oh, let me tell you how good it smell up in this kitchen. Okay, so, look at that. Look at that. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. So, we are getting ready to munch, 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 and munch, munch, munch. Oh, that's gonna be so good. Mm. I gotta eat, guys. Bye. I just want to say thank you guys for watching this video on this crustless pizza that we put together. Um, if you tried this, leave me a comment. Tell me what you like. Tell me what you didn't like. If you liked it or if you don't like it. If you like it better than keto crust pizza, if you would prefer this style over making your uh, keto dough for your crust for your pizza, let me know in the comments. If you like this uh, recipe, uh, like, share, and leave me a comment. And I will bring you more recipes or tips and tricks of what we can do without all of the breading and so forth. Thank you guys again for watching. See you next time.